Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my wax empties from March 20th through uh, March 31st, Sunday, March 31st. Today is Monday, April 1st, and it definitely feels like a Monday. Okay, so let me start with the one and only candle that I finished, which you guys have seen in previous like melting videos. This is Blackberry Tea Leaf from um, Bath and Body Works. And the scent notes are wild blackberry, bramble tea leaves, and a hint of sweet orange. I honestly liked this candle better on cold than I did on warm. To me, I just kind of got like a funky smell to it. I really didn't smell any orange. There was some tea and I guess blackberry. It just didn't smell like that to me at all. Um, so I would not repurchase. However, I absolutely love this jar. I, it is so, how cute is that with the little bear sitting there drinking his, his tea? I love that. Um, I think I might repurpose this. Um, maybe like have it up in my bathroom holding like makeup brushes or I, I don't know. Do I need to hold on to it? No, but it, I, it's so adorable. So we'll see. So that was the only candle. Okay, moving on to bags from Swanky. I melted London Calling, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with. It's a like a tea scent. This I loved. I wish that this blackberry tea leaf smelled like this. <laughs> but like I said, London Calling from Swanky. There were two pieces. Um, the first piece that was in here was a flower and it was a pretty substantial size. So I cut that in half and then there was a little teeny tiny flower. So I did the teeny tiny flower with one of the halves from the bigger piece and I melted it in my kitchen in a glade warmer and a centerpiece from Yankee and... While this is not like a crazy strong scent, it was enough of a scent and it lasted quite a long time. It was like a, a medium throw for that and I love that and I love Swanky, so that's all good. Um, from Hayden Rowe, I melted some Lavender Sage. This was really, really good. It's actually still going um, in my upstairs hallway and that is in a, what do I have? A Scentsy bulb warmer that is good it's still going from rainbow melt I meant melt blah, blah, blah. I melted pink lady which is uh, sweet pink sugar bubbly vanilla champagne and vanilla bean Noel this was pretty good I mostly got the pink sugar and the effervescent it was just a it was a sample so um, this I melted in my front when you first walk into the house, we have like an office there. I melted it there and that is also in a Scentsy bulb warmer. That was good. This I know doesn't have a label on it, but I know what it is. This is Pink Snuggle from Swanky, which is like, um, like baby detergent, Draft. If anybody is familiar with Draft, I just had a bunch of it and I had put some into a smaller bag so it was easy to like grab and go. This I have no recollection of. This is from Hayden Row and it's King's Cross. And I don't remember what what it what it was, which makes me think I probably melted it like on the 20th of March. So I don't remember this and I'm sorry. But I know it wasn't it wasn't bad. Um from Nini's, I'm going to say Nini's because I've heard it pronounced different ways. I believe it's Nini's Kitchen Melt. This was laundromat. And these come, there's like five, I think five, five or six. They're like little like Hershey bar pieces. This was really good. Just a very strong um, laundry scent. And I did enjoy that. Um, it comes on like gangbusters when you start melting. But after like two or three hours, it really, really, really goes down. And it's a very um, like light, faint smell, which is fine for a laundry scent. I don't mind that at all. From Wax and Sphere, I melted some Snow Fairy in my bedroom. I just love this. This is um, Lush's Snow Fairy type. See, the fairies just 
uh, spelt differently. So I love this scent. Great. Love it in my bedroom. Enjoyed that. Um, moving on. I just had one bag with one piece left. This, I'm sure I'm going to pronounce wrong. This was from Waxmosphere. And this was, I think it's pronounced Agrumario. I don't know. If you know how to pronounce it, please feel free. I had one last piece. I really, 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 really enjoyed this. I'm just trying. Sorry about the crumpling. So let me get my bag straight. That's what it looks. That's how it's spelled. This is really good. It's a nice citrus scent. So perfect um, for March. Okay. From uh, Scoopable Tart Wax. I've had this for so long. This is Alice's Birthday Cake. Guys, I hated this. I hate this so much. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of, this is what it looks like. Everybody knows. Um, body odor. It was so rank. Um, I've had it for a long time and I never liked it. But I kept thinking, like nothing about it smells like birthday cake to me. It just smells like straight up like BO. And I definitely don't want my house smelling like that. I didn't want to pass it on to anybody um, because, you know, I don't like doing that. I mean, if it's a scent that, I, that to me is so offensive. And then I thought, okay, let it cure longer, longer, longer. I would try it every now and again. As you can see, I mean, this is a substantial amount. It took me a really long time to get through it. And I ended up, you'll see through here, I... To finish it up, I finally added it with like um, co uh, coffee, cake scents or cookie scents to try to like bakery it out a little bit more. And let's just say I'm happy to see this one go. Not a favorite. Nothing against scoopable um, tart wax. Everything that I've ever, I think this is the only thing that I've like never liked. So there's that. Then I finished up a... Um, what are these things called? These, the big, huge, scentsy things. The bricks, the bricks. In Eskimo Kiss. I love this scent. Oh my God. And I know it's like marketed for Christmas time, but, oh, this is just so good. So, so good. It is kind of, I guess, wintry. It has like a wintry berry like sugar with like mint kind of thing. I'm probably way off, but I love this scent and I've had it for a long time. Definitely got my money's worth and yeah, really enjoyed that. All right, moving on to some more clams. I've talked about this a bazillion time from Sensational Sugar Pumpkin Cronuts. Yes, I do still like it. I know that I feel that it's heavy on the cinnamon or something, but, and I'm not a cinnamon like a red hot cinnamon person. I like bakery cinnamon, just not red hot. And I don't know. I feel like it depends on the clam. Sometimes I get more cinnamon in it than not. But I was so in the mood for this. And I melted it and I liked it. From Sensationals, I melted Zen. And I mixed this with um, some Rose Girl Spearmint. This I'm not really a huge fan of. I don't know why. There's something about it that's a little off-putting to me but I have more clams of it so um kind of have to go through it now I do love inner zen this I wish I had more of and it says mint to breathe this is so fantastic I love it love it love it love it oh my gosh definitely heavier on the spearmint Maybe I should have mixed Inner Zen with Zen. Maybe that would have been a little different. This I absolutely love. I wish that I had picked up more of them when I um, originally bought this. But I did it. And then when I was in Walmart last week, I looked for it and my store didn't have any. So um, that's kind of disappointing. I'm going to keep looking for it because I love that. And I would melt that all year. And it was strong. It was strong when it started out at like a five out of five. And I kept it on probably longer than I should have. It was probably in my warmest for more than a day. Sometimes I just get a little lazy and I don't change things out. But I always could still smell it, even when I dumped it. Just not at the high 
throw that it was from Sensational's Morning Bliss. It says, lift your day with grapefruit. I think I've kind of OD'd on this. Um, plus, I melted the whole clam in my downstairs living area, which might have been too much grapefruit. So, um, while in the past I have really enjoyed this super, super strong, uh, I say I wouldn't pick it up, but I don't know. Lately, I have no control when it comes to buying black. So, I'm going to say I wouldn't get it again, but... I don't really know. From Better Homes and Gardens, I melted a blueberry bundt cake. And blueberry is not my favorite scent. Really, it's not. I think because so much of the blueberry that I smell is very artificial. This I like. I like this. You really get that bakery from the bundt cake and the blueberry. Um, this I want to say, I melted this on, for, was it Friday? Yes. Friday when I got home from work. So I probably put this in the warmers at about four. Th between three and four, let's say. At like 8.30, I had brought some trash out. So I go out my back door, out onto the deck, and then like down a little whatever to get out there. I'd shut the door behind me. And then I was um, like skimming the pool to clean it out. And my husband opened the slider to say something to me. And that I got a huge, I couldn't believe this. I could smell this like outside. And that was probably like at 8.30. And it was still like super strong. I'm glad that I tried it. Um, maybe next year I would pick it up again. I might even have one more of it. But I do enjoy that, which really surprises, surprises me. And then, of course, from Better Homes and Gardens, Sugared Lavender Twist. I like this. This I really like at nighttime, downstairs, like winding down, put it in the bedrooms, really, um, really like wherever. Sorry about that. My son had to ask me about something. All right, so I finished about Sugar Lavender Twist. That is a good scent. Um, I would, con <clears throat> excuse me, continue to purchase that. That's like a, um, a strong hitter that really just stays. It's nice. I feel like it's not offensive. You could really melt that anytime. Um, and it's enjoyable. I forgot this other little guy from um, Nini's kitchen. This was Tide, Tide Type. And yes, that is exactly what this is. It tastes, tastes. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. Clearly I'm hungry. I promise I do not eat the wax. Um, this smells like when you open the bottle of the original... Um, I think I just use regular original Tide. What's ever in the red bottle? That's what I use. That's what this smells like. So that was nice. All right, moving on to scent shot cups. I have, oh gosh, okay. This is from that small good shop. This is banana nut bread. I have had this for so long because in, I know, don't judge wax on cold, but sometimes it stops me from picking it to melt. This smells like, um, like a candied banana and like a nuttiness to it, okay? So it's just a small like one ounce sunshot cup. I put this in my front, like I say my front entryway, but there really is a big, it's a big room in there, but it's, uh, when you walk in the front door. Anyway, the Scentsy Warmer is in there. I put that in there Wednesday or Thursday last week. And my 10-year-old son, who now, once, I mean, he'll comment once in a while, but I was like upstairs folding laundry or something, and he came upstairs to ask me what was what was melting when you first come in the door, and I told him banana nut bread. Oh my gosh, mom, that is the best wax I've ever smelled in my life. Can you please buy more of it, or do you have more of it? So he loved, loved, loved this <laughs> from a 10-year-old. I don't know. Um, I have not ordered from that small good shop in a while. And when I do make a, um, an order, I will pick that up just because he likes it. And even if we just melt it in his bedroom, that's fine by me. I love that my kids care about how the house smells, I guess. <laughs> from Destination Wax, I melted coffee espresso macchiato, rich espresso sweetened with a dash of steamed milk. Oh my gosh. This is so good. I love um, Destination Wax's, like, all her different coffee scents and blends. 
that I've tried. My favorite espresso, I think, is from K's. I'm going to have to do these, like, side by side. This is so delicious and decadent and delicious and yummy. And I tend to only really do coffee scents on the weekends because I'm home um, in the mornings to enjoy them. So, I know, I'm, like, really... This is so great. If you love coffee scents and espresso scents and flavored coffee, really, really, really try Destination Waxes. I think you will definitely not be disappointed. Did I have another one? Oh, let me see if I had another coffee. I guess not. I thought I... Sometimes I feel like I melt so much. But anyway. Um, from Lake Providence Lodge, which is no longer in business, I melted up... I, I think this is the last thing that I have from her. This is Cake Shop. This was all right. It was definitely not my favorite. Um, it was just kind of like a plain cake, but it kind of saved me when I was melting um, Alice's birthday cake from uh, Scoop of All. So I was grateful to have that. From Destination Wax, Black Chamomile, which is Chamomile, Tonka Bean, Wild Lily, um, and Bergamot. And it's a Bath and Body Works type. I love this. This is just like a very like a, like appealing, I want to say, non-offensive. I know I say that a lot, but sometimes I mean, you can smell wax and be like, damn, I can't melt that when anybody else is here but me. This is just like, it's just like really nice and the type of scent that you could melt anywhere in your home. And I don't think anybody would complain and I don't think I have any more of this. I think that she opens for custom sometime this month. I need to like get this like bigger, bigger quantities. Sorry, children. Um, from Set and Susie, this is Legally Blonde, which is vanilla, champagne, and blonde moment. I can never remember what's in blonde moment. I think I get blonde moment and serendipity mixed up. They're probably nothing like. But this is like a sweet. A sweet citrusy scent and you do get the the bubbles from the champagne more of like a ginger ale type of bubble I would say but this was very nice I liked that so that was good satin Susie is on my list of vendors to order from this was from um, Sasha sent this to me and I know that I need to make an order with satin Susie it's just I'm trying to get through vendors that were on my list from the beginning of 2018 and that in itself is a long, is a long list. Um, okay, some more scent shot cups. I have from K scented melt. I have Dr. Peppermint. This was nice. Peppermint spearmint. I don't know what else is in here, but I really did like this. Um, not super powerful, but again, sometimes when a mint is too powerful, it just doesn't even smell like mint anymore. I find so that was nice. I did enjoy that. Um, more from K, Barbershop 1920s, oh, just so good. Love, love, love this scent. I've tried it from various uh, vendors. It's just so nice. It really, really is. Um, yeah, so that's good. Okay, from K again. The next few are going to be from K, so then I don't have to keep saying it. This is Ivory, which is spot on for the bar soap Ivory, which if you like bar soap, um, you would love this. And I do. This is, oh, I just, it's so good. So, so good. Ivory soap. Can't really say anything about it. Strong, 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 strong. I cut this in thirds and melted it in my bedroom and my master bathroom. And when I had it going in my master bathroom, I have a centerpiece warmer from Yankee. So I always set it for nine hours and, um, so usually when I go to work, uh, you know, I just like reset it to make sure that it goes the nine hours. I come home um, and I'll turn it back on again. This, so maybe at the most that warmer is really ever out is like an hour or something. This, I'm not kidding, like three days worth. And the first two days, it was just as strong as the first day. The third day, it kind of toned itself down. But oh my God, I know, soap. How much can I talk about it? But it's so good. Then we have elderflower, which... Oh, my love, love of my life. Um, not going to really talk much about it because you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me talk about it. I just absolutely love it. I find it so comforting. It's such a de-stressor. Really love it. Enter Sandman. This is like a, 
eucalyptus and like mint, but it's not overbearing on the eucalyptus, which I find a lot of times when things are like a bedtime or a sinus and it has eucalyptus in it, eucalyptus seems to be like the overbearing scent. With this one, it is not. I don't know if it has some vanilla in it or maybe lavender. I don't know, guys, but this was nice. This was um, this was melted in my youngest um, son's bedroom. He liked that. Staying with Kay, I have um, Hipster, which was in my 13-year-old son's bedroom. This to me smells like a teenager. <laughs> A teenager that's like starting to wear cologne or like Abercrombie and Fitch store, which I hate. Ugh. Anyway, I used to hate walking by there, this horrific stench of cologne from there. But um, he liked it. He said it was nice. Just like a nice, clean, you know, young person's type of scent, I would say. Uh, Soleil Blanc. So good. Oh, I'm so glad I melted this. This went in my front entranceway. And this is like a very like beachy scent. Not salt water, not sea air. Dare I say sunblock and suntan lotion? Yeah, kind of a little bit. But not more like you've already spent the day at the beach and you didn't shower, but you like you changed out of your bathing suit and put on like a sundress because you're going to go eat at a restaurant um, like on the beach, like a nicer restaurant. This is kind of what you would smell like. I'm sorry for my description, <laughs> but I really like this. And I have another one of the one ounce. This was really good. I like this. It surprised me. So I'm happy that I tried that. Um, Tristan's toffee coffee. This is good too. Um, on cold, you don't really get the toffee note. But heating, warming it, you do. It's like equal amounts of the toffee mixed with the coffee. So that was good. I like her espresso. Um, I need to try more of her coffee scents. So this one I probably would not get again just because I'm not really, I'm not like a big flavored coffee drinker. Therefore, I feel like I don't really like flavored coffee in uh, my wax. From a Destination Wax, Sugar cookie, which is warm, freshly baked sugar cookies. Again, this got me through this Alice's birthday cake. It made it more tolerable. And just a few more. Another one from Kay, arugula. I just, I love this scent. Do I have two of these? No. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um... So much and so, my kids are really loving it too, um, that my son, my 13-year-old, asked me yesterday, because I had cut up, I cut up two more, um, I think two more of these into like thirds for my April melting basket, and my son asked me yesterday if he could melt, if he could have arugula going in his room last night, so I had to dip into my April basket on March 31st but anyway I just really love that I don't know like for me I wouldn't put it in my bedroom but that's what he wanted and that's what he got uh caress daily moisture this was good straight up caress um body wash the one in the I know that there's different ones I want to say it has like the uh, like a pinkish peachish lid on it and it's written like kind of shimmery, the writing, because I know I've used it before. And that's straight up what this smells like. Definitely not as strong as Ivory Soap or Dove. And this I melted in my small half bath down here. And it, um, I have a plus, like a, like a nightlight warmer, little bulb one, and everything throws in there. And this I probably got like six hours going in there. From Satin Susie, French. French vanilla, I was about to say. French lavender. Yep, and that's what this is. And I am so not a fan. This took me forever to get through because I just do it in tiny, tiny, tiny little bits and melt it with other things. French lavender is a very headache-inducing to me. I don't know why. It just really... It's too much, I think. Um, but again, I like I said, need to try Satin Susie. 
Okay, and last but not least, this is from Midnight Daydream Wax Company. I ordered like 20 of these, like one ounce sun shots because they were on sale for a dollar. Um, I didn't realize that he was right, excuse me, right here in Arizona. Seriously, like 20, probably like 20 minutes away from where I live. Um, I didn't do a video on the haul only because I am so not familiar with his wax or how long it's supposed to cure or anything like that. He does put his pour dates on here and this is January 31st. So I melted this towards the end of March and I know it was just one scent shot, you know, one ounce thing. I turned all of my warmers off down in my living space and I only had it going in my uh, centerpiece warmer in my kitchen and I couldn't smell it. And I'm sorry, the scent is cuckoo for, co for cookies. I have more of these in this scent and it says a top secret sugar cookie blend. I couldn't smell anything. When I smell it on cold, it's super strong. So I don't know, should I have like melted like five of them in five different warmers? Like I don't really feel like I should have to do that, but um, I'm still, I'm glad that I tried him out. I believe his name is Harrison. Um, super fast, like I placed my order and it shipped the next day and then it was here like the next day. Like it wasn't even like two days shipping, it was like one day. So grateful for that. Happy to know that there's another person um, that makes wax right here in Arizona. That's awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to trying more of his things. I didn't pull any of his stuff for April just because I'm doing like pastel colors and his wax is white. That doesn't mean anything because I cheat and put other things in because I can't stick to, um, I'm a rule breaker. So that is everything from the 20th to the 31st. I thank you so, so much for watching. Um, loved what I melted. Um, it's so great when you pick, you know, when you are picking out wax to put in your warmest and like you're excited for how things are going to smell and you just like really enjoy. Um, I have a couple hauls coming up and then I'm seriously like, I need to be back on a band, guys. I reasoned with myself and made up the excuse that it's going to start to get super, super hot here, like over 100 degrees, probably mm, end of May, maybe before that. And I do not buy any wax when it's that hot. So, um, I guess I'm just trying to like get my fill now. I still have so many vendors on my wish list that I want to try. Um, but I do have hauls coming from, uh, I'm not even going to say, we'll wait until they come in, but that's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope everybody has had a wonderful Monday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.